mean, who doesn't need a chicken hot pad? I know I sure do. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And today I have another haul video because oops, I did it again. I went shopping. I sure did, y'all. I'm going to link the shop along right up here for you. But as I told you in the shop along, I was supposed to be headed down to work in my booth for a little bit and realize, oh, it's a day that I never get to come down here. There's a store that I've been trying to get to for almost a year. And I decided instead of taking a right, I was going to take a left and go to the store to see if it was open. And it was open. And I was so excited. The name of the store was St. Thomas Episcopal Thrift Shop in Wharton, Texas. And I spent a whopping $8.23. But I got two bags of goodies. So let's go through and see what I got. Before we get started, as always, let me dip into that gratitude jar to pull out a name of someone who has motivated or inspired me. Let me see who this one is going to be today. Vintage Vinny. Oh, how exciting. I'm going to put his channel right up here. Please go make sure that you watch and subscribe to Vintage Vinny. He is the coolest guy, y'all, and he knows so much. He's a big pinup fan, and he finds wonderful things in his thrifting, and I really enjoy watching his channel. He also has live sales, so again, make sure that you go subscribe to Vintage Vinny's channel and click those notification bells so that you will know when he's uploaded a video or is going live for a live sale as well. So let's get on with the haul. Okay, y'all, I was super excited about this little shop. And when I first walked in, it was not that much inventory, but you really just kind of have to take your time and look. The people were super nice. All right, I found a couple of crocheted pieces, little doilies or hot pads. I found this one that has like the green and the blue and the yellow in there. But I got that. It's kind of a larger piece. So I'm gonna get those washed up. I got a smaller piece that would be for fall. This is great for putting on a tabletop to put a little figurine or a bowl on so you don't scratch the table. And then I just had to get this one. And I'm hoping that I can get this out, but I just love this. It's a chicken, y'all. It's a chicken hot pad. I mean, who doesn't need a chicken hot pad? I know I sure do. So I picked this one up and again, I'm about to put it in the wash. I hate to treat items, um, but I am going to see if I can get those out. It looks like it may have been, somebody may have tried to iron it um, and that it has had, you can tell right here where somebody has put hot things on there. So it did its job. Good job, chicken. Good job. I found this beautiful little cross stitch piece. It is in a plastic frame, but the work is beautiful. A little welcome friends sign. It does say that it was custom framed. Now the frame is plastic, but I do like the little saying in there. And I thought that was super cute. So I picked that up. Oh, this is probably one of the best things that I found. It is a vintage play school cardboard puzzle. Look at the graphics on that. They've got it wrapped it up in some saran wrap, but I love the little graphics, the little cartoon graphics in there. And one of the things that I did learn is that cursive play school is the older. Remember when I talked about that from once before? Um, and so it is printed in the USA. I'll have to do some research to find out where this came from or about the age because it's not marked, but I really love this. All right, let's see what else. They wrapped it in newspaper for me. Oh, y'all, I got this. Now, it was after St. Patrick's Day, but I don't care because look how stinking cute he is. This is a little hobbyist piece, this little bear that says, kiss me, I'm Irish. And he's got a little pot of gold right here. Now there is a little paint loss chip right here, but that's okay. I think I can fix that. I'm gonna keep him for myself. And I only paid 50 cents for him, but he's mine. I'm keeping him because he is stinking cute. I just love it. But the person didn't sign it. 
Oh, it is just too cute, y'all. He is too cute. So I am keeping that for next year's display. All right, let's see what else. Oh, I got this and I liked it a lot. It is a little owl toothpick holder and it's from Cedar Point. Now, I don't know if there's anything on the bottom. Oh, it had a Japan sticker on it. They put the tape over the bottom of the Japan sticker. Uh-oh. Well, here's the Made in Japan sticker. Can you see that? And here's the rest of the sticker because they had the green little tape, painter's tape on there. But it is a little Made in Japan piece. Center point. I don't know where center point. No, cedar point. I can't read. Cedar point, y'all. So where is Cedar Point? If you know where Cedar Point is, let me know in the comments below because I surely don't. But I thought he was super cute. So he will be for sale in a live sale coming up. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you're watching and make sure that you hit the notification bells to all notifications for my channel so that you will know when I have my live sales and post videos. I typically post at least once a week. Sometimes it's two or three times a week and I have live sales at least once a month, but I do have several pop-up sales scheduled, so stay tuned. Okay, the next thing that I got was two, there should be two of these. But these, I'm not sure if they're hobbyist pieces or not, but look at these cute little bunnies, y'all. I love this bunny. He's, I don't know if he's running or stretching or what's going on with this bunny. But I liked him. He's super cute. And I thought there was a matching bunny in here somewhere. So we're on the hunt for the second bunny. Oh, I love this. I can't wait to bring this to y'all for a live sale. This will be fun. So this is from Taiwan. It is called Sweet Keepers. It's Bisque Porcelain, 1980. Look at this little planter with a baby eating strawberries. That is too cute, y'all too cute. So this will be in a summer sale for me, but I just love this. It is in perfect condition. I hope I can let it go. There's no chips or cracks, but look at that sweet face. All right, let's see what else I got. Oh, I see two pins. Now, I thought these pins were really cool because they're Halloween. Both of them are Halloween. I think I got them for 25 cents each, but there's this little button that says trick or treat. And this little plastic piece that says, it's also a pen that says, have a spooky day. So I thought these were really precious. And again, I don't find very many Halloween things, at least vintage Halloween things. And these are cute. So I'm going to put them in a October live sale. All right, what's in here? Oh, I got two of these. I think these are Hazel Atlas. Y'all tell me if they are Anchor Hawking or a Hazel Atlas. I think they're Hazel Atlas. They're just two little cruet bottles. Now, they do not have their stoppers. I have one here, and there should be another one in there. So, let's see if we can. We're looking for a bunny and a cruet bottle. And I found the bunny, y'all. I found the bunny. Now, this, look at those teeth and those eyelashes. Oh, my gosh. Too cute. Now, she still has a little clay or something on the bottom. Oh, no, it's somebody used some of that sticky stuff to get it to stay down. There, I got that off. That looks better. I'll wash that up and get that off of there. But look how cute. One is an aerobic bunny. This is me. I'm not the aerobic bunny. Those are super cute. All right, let's see. I like unwrapping in things. Oh, two more bunnies. How fun. Okay. These, I don't know if these are Lucite bunnies or if they're just plastic bunnies. I cannot remember for the life of me. They, they, these are not Lucite, I don't think, y'all. But these are little blue and purple plastic-like bunnies. The other ones they had were glass. And these were plastic. Now, I've never seen anything like this. So, if you know what these are made out of, it's a hard plastic. And it's not squishy or anything. It's a hard plastic. 
There's no marking on the bottom of those whatsoever. Might be like a resin mold. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything about these darling little bunnies. And I love the colors of them. They even have a little bunny tail. So I picked these up as well. Okay, let's see what else. That's the end of bag one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, here's the other Cruet bottle. So here's the other one. So now I have two of them. Neither one of them have their stoppers, but let me show you. I think, I don't know if you can see that, but see the H and the A right there? Is that Anchor Hawking or Hazel Atlas? I thought that was Hazel Atlas. Again, y'all let me know in the comments below what, what that is. All right, let's move on to bag number two, shall we? Ooh, something must be big. Oh, there are two big pieces in here. Look at this planter. Isn't he beautiful? This is a beautiful fish planter. Just so simple. Lots of detail in the actual work, but just the white glaze of it. I just love this. And it stands pretty tall. I thought this was so unusual, so cool with the fins and stuff. So I will save this for a sale in the summer when I do like ocean and vacation and all of that. So just a summer themed sale. All right, I only have one more thing, but y'all didn't I do good for $8? And this one is big and it is a big strawberry jar. Look how big this strawberry jar is, and it has the little fastened lid. Now, the stopper here is all dried out. That will need to be replaced. There's none of the transfer missing off of this, and y'all, I paid $1.50 for this jar. Isn't it beautiful? This is Carlton glass. It is two liters made in the USA, but I thought this was a beautiful, beautiful jar. Now, it's big and it has some weight to it, so I'm not sure if I need to put this in a live sale or take this to my booth um, because it's so big. I'll just have to think about that because I don't want the shipping to be too much for someone. But if you are interested in this item or any of the other items that I said were for sale, make sure that you reach out to me at the email below and let me know, and I will let you know how much they are priced and how much the shipping would be because for this one, it is heavy and the shipping would be quite a lot for that. So that is all that I got. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to pick a favorite. I don't even know if I can. There's just too many. I can't pick a favorite. I think everything that I got on this particular trip is just amazing. So tell me out of all of the things that you saw today, what was your favorite item from today's haul? And I know that's going to be a tough one for you. That's it for today, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.